Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we are analyzing or reviewing whatever you want to call it. The Season of Dawn stream that Bungo did not too long ago. Now, I would have had this video earlier, but right at like 12 Eastern time, I ended up getting really sleepy. So me and my cat took the, f the fattest nap. So I'm actually recording this like at 4 p.m. So yeah, I watched the video over. I watched uh, another YouTuber's video of it and his reaction and... He is one of my favorite YouTubers, Destiny Wise. So when I saw him, it kind of made validated how I felt because, yeah, it it was kind of ass. <laughs> so we didn't learn much, if anything. There was no like I think. Okay, so let's let's go down the notes that I took that I noticed. There's a lot of talking with devs, which was cool. I I like I love that we have more time with devs, more FaceTime and whatnot, but. It's not a lot of information regarding the game. So for me, it was just kind of like, all right, cool. Skip, skip, skip to the like actual meat and potatoes of this. So the first one that I noticed was the change to the artifacts and barrier mods are now in the first column, which I think is smart. It's pretty, it's pretty smart. Although, although I don't like the weapon choices they have, they have like what scout rifle, pulse rifle, a bow, and then like, I think at the bot at the very bottom, it's a assault rifle, but it's not. It's only one of them, one of the one of the charges. So, for me, I don't know how the, the next season's gonna be. It's very. It's gonna be very campy, or I mean, not campy, but well, probably. So, yeah, I think I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Now the next season, the subclasses they're gonna be focusing on is solar and void. Which makes sense because we're still going to be fighting Vex and they do use Void a lot. So the one that I'm really excited for is Solar. Uh, the changes are, that are coming to Solar subclasses are really cool. And unfortunately, Bungie did not show us any of that like at all. But we'll get to that in a bit. So I one one uh, per or one mod that I w really wanted to showcase was Guardian Angel, and they show it briefly, and it essentially lets you drop a healing orb if you get a headshot with i think what was it a, like a scout rifle or sniper rifle anything like precision wise so i think with a sniper and a linear fusion rifle if i remember correctly i'll have it in the screen right now but i think that's really cool i think that's that adds a layer of like okay i'm gonna be a healer i i really do hope they they push more towards like traditional like classes where it's like Oh, I'll be the healer. I'll be DPS, and you guys, and you'll be the tank. It'd be awesome if we had that, because it's not just like, oh, warlocks are healers. It, it would be cool if we all had our own way of doing that. Like, it'd be cool if titans healed the more you punch stuff, hunters heal the more they do precision damage, and warlocks heal the more they do like mystical magic shit. So that's my just that's just my opinion. So one thing that's kind of weird is that they're ad they're introducing a new mechanic into destiny 2 not just this season but it's going to be a thing that's just going to stay forever now which is called charged with light it's a new mechanic and you either consume the charge or you make a charge i i really didn't understand what they were trying to go for i saw some of the some of the mods that had it and i was just kind of like eh, like well okay like whatever I, like i'm why would i use this over like every other mod that I could put on that. So I can't wait to get my hands on it. So that way I can actually see it and then judge it from there. But that's pretty much it for the artifact. I mean, it was very bare bones. We didn't see much of the mods. The only one we saw from the last row was guardian angel, which I'm really disappointed. I was really hoping that would show us more, at least like three or four, but we didn't see any of that. We didn't see the middle ones. Like this was very fast. It was, I wasn't, I, yeah, spoiler alert. I, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this uh, stream. It was not that good. Like, we didn't see anything at all. Almost like we saw artifact changes, which in my opinion is cool, but it's not something that I would have put as priority. I probably would have put the sundial first, and then everything else. The sundial, which is being the new activity that we're going to be doing, and even then, like, I don't think the people who were doing it did a great job showcasing the new subclasses i feel like yeah I, I don't know well let's get to the sundial so 
Each activity within the sundial are possible futures that could happen, which I think is awesome. I think that idea is really cool. I really hope they showcase more of like the lore within that certain area. So like, let's say Cabal in that future timeline are like ruling everything. It would be awesome to see multiple ships, like a dreadnought just coming out. It'd be awesome to see like propaganda of Gaul because it's the Red Legion. It'd be awesome to have like a lot of like lore building within the world because if it's just like yeah in this future uh cabal like dominated the whole universe and it's just like well i'm still in mercury so i don't i don't see that so it'd be cool if we can either go back to like the campaign campaign for destiny 2 uh vanilla and see that the whole earth has changed and it's like more red legion theme than like you see propaganda of Gaul. That would be cool. But from what I saw, it's mostly just going to be on Mercury. And that's cool. But I really hope they lean into the whole different timelines. That way we can see different like propaganda or like different futures. Like let's say Vex is just controlling everything. We see that world. We see a world where Hive is controlling everything. We see a world where nothing's controlling everything. Like it'd be awesome if... By the end of this whole season, we ended up seeing like the darkness actually controlling everything and we go into like their ship or or a planet and it's just darkness. Like and and I don't want to have like oh no like there's still people trying to fight this. No, it's it's dead. It's the apocalypse. Everything's dead. I want to go there. And because we have the light like the darkness just starts to look at us and it's really hard to explain but it would be really cool if they told a story through the sundial because of, uh, this is probably the best event they could do that with because it's time travel if you guys really fuck up time travel i'm sorry dog y'all y'all got issues homie like y'all need to like get some more writers because if you guys really fuck up time trial or time uh oh fuck um my head's just everywhere right now because i'm thinking about like the multitude of possibilities that could happen like different timelines the parallel universe so many things can happen and i just don't want bungie to just bungee it up and fuck it up so i'm really excited i'm really hopeful that they're gonna get this right even though the past just shows me that they're incapable of doing anything right but i'm hopeful so Another thing, okay, so like next thing is, and this is probably where it starts to get a little negative. This one's not that big a deal, but I still think it's just kind of like, uh, okay. Is the activity is actually not failable. So like Menagerie and, and Vex Offensive, you can't, you can't fail this activity, which I don't know how I feel about that. If it's kind of like Vex Offensive, then I guess it's fine because if you failed an activity, you didn't get the reward for that branch. So for me, that's cool. Like, okay, like there's some level of you have to like actually do something and not be, be brain dead to get stuff. If it's like that, that's fine. If not, then I mean, I'm people are just going to AFK. There's no point. So yeah, I we'll see. I will I will showcase though that the re there's a really cool thing about uh, the boss where you actually there's the bosses right in the middle and they had to kill like elites I think they're called they had to kill elites that dropped the ball and regularly it's like okay yeah just throw the ball at the boss and the shield goes down I'm not saying this is new and I'm not saying this is revolutionary I just think it's really cool that they did this the when you throw the ball, you actually have to throw it on the, on the floor. And once that happens, it like beacons a laser beam from the sky to hit him. And that's how the shield gets taken down. Now, I'm not saying this is unique. I'm not saying this is, oh my God, this is cool. Like, it's a cool change from just throwing a ball at the boss's shield. I love that. It makes it, it makes it feel unique enough where it's like, this is cool. I like this, but I do see like if people are like nah it's not unique it's just the same thing but both an extra extra step which in reality it really is yeah it's just they drop balls and now you have to just aim the ball somewhere it's literally every other boss we've ever had but with extra steps but i feel like that's cool 
Especially because the beam is actually bright as fuck, and you're just like, oh fuck. So for me, it's cool as fuck. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all they showed for Sundial. Uh, really disappointed in the in what they showed because that's it. Like. They didn't showcase the subclasses, they didn't showcase the new weapons, and when I say showcase, I mean literally show us and like tell us what they do. They were just like, hey yeah, we got new stuff, and it's like, I mean like we saw this already, we saw this yesterday, like when you guys posted this, so this isn't new, like I was hoping something new, and what's even worse is that like, PvP was mentioned once, and it was because of the new map. And that's it. No PvP, like, no, no nothing, no, what happened to the renewed whatever for PvP? What happened to that? Were we just gonna, like, sweep that under the rug? Like, 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 like y'all just didn't say that last, last time? So, this was really disappointing because all we got was artifact changes, sundial stuff, and, uh, oh, oh, so yeah, yeah, Eververse stuff. Like, we got... The finishers and they're like oh yeah you can get this one from the from the from the battle pass but these you you get them from ever so i was like that's cool like i don't really care because i knew this already just show me something i don't know and i feel like the artifact while it was cool to see some of those changes it didn't show me enough to be like all right this is cool it didn't hype me like i don't understand how someone can like watch this stream and go out hype like, I don't understand. Like, I would love to talk to you because I watched the stream and I walked out feeling like there was a half missing. There's no PvP mention. And when I say no PvP mention, I mean, like, it would, there, there was just, they just said, oh, yeah, new PvP map is coming. And it's really cool because this one, this one's really dear and near to us because this is when the whole Destiny sandbox started. And that's like. That's how you're going to leave it. Nothing about like, oh yeah, we're going to fix this or we're going to do this. Not only that, we only get one map when it's like, uh, you guys have a plethora of back map, back like of maps that you have from Destiny 1. You're just going to give us one? Really? Okay, that's cool, I guess. So for me, this was not disappointing, but very just lackluster because ultimately it was two things that they showcased. <clears throat> it was more about us knowing the devs which i'm like i mean like cool like honestly it's cool that we know like we get to know the devs but can you guys show us more especially since a lot of the community is still tripping on like oh is this is this season's gonna be good or, or not and i know a lot of the the community's like no it's gonna be amazing didn't you see the trailer and it's like i mean like they always do good trailers though like why are you coming at me with that like look at look at any other trailer that's ever came out and it's always fire it's always like oh fuck this shit's gonna be cool and then it doesn't turn out to be good chris of osiris a war mind literally any of the seasons like aside from like season of our uh, um season of the season of opulence aside from that one i think season of opulence season of the forge season of the drifter was kind of lacking and then just like, even from Destiny 1 as well, like we had DLCs that were just like, oh, this is kind of caca, homie. But the but the trailers were dope. So I I just don't want the, the Destiny community to be like, oh no, it's gonna be great guys, don't worry about it. When we have literal proof that they've done really good trailers, but they've always just kind of like not delivered. So I just want you guys to like take the glasses off. Don't like stop looking at the hype and look at it objectively. And you're gonna see like, this stream was not that good. And for me, I was hoping this stream this stream was gonna like alleviate a lot of my worries and issues that I have with the D with the with Destiny so far. And ultimately, yeah, they were just kind of like, yeah, those worries and like things that you have, fuck those things. We're just gonna show, show you two things and like that's it. No PvP mentioned, no new exotics showcase, like nothing like showcase, like really dog, just the artifact and the sundial, which we already knew like what the fuck it was gonna be. The only new things we learned about was like a few things here and there. Like y'all couldn't even showcase like the abilities, subclasses, weapons. Oh my god, dude. I'm just I'm really all over the place. Uh that's it. Let y'all let me know what you guys thought about the stream. Uh am I the only one disappointed in this? Because apparently I probably am, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.